So imagine I'm saying this to fellow women on YouTube, if I disagree with them about something. Imagine that I'm saying things along these lines. Oh, you're a self-righteous bitch. How about this one? If her last name is Spittleneck, how about this? Spittleneck. Ironic because you just know you have extreme dick fright. No chance have you ever had a pearl necklace. Spooge neck? I don't think so. More like labia face. And it gets even worse. And so I decide to really go out of my way to bully you. And I also say, well, I, I just meant all of this in the nicest way possible. And before that, it just, it just, what I did got totally out of control. Well, that's what happened to an aide for Bill de Blasio. Her name is Amy Spittlenick. And the persecutor in question is named Buckley Carlson, who unfortunately is Tucker Carlson's brother. And believe me, I've been subject to comments like this. And like even... Like, even when he says, Spittlenick, ironic because you just know she has extreme dick fright. No chance has this girl ever had a pearl necklace. Spooge neck? I don't think so. More like labia face. I mean, I face comments like that where people have told me, you need to get laid. I've gotten threats. And, I mean, just other, just other stuff. And I can read you a comment that I got on Twitter today when I was being persecuted. Someone said, and um, I'm sure this guy is not following me anymore. And if he is still following, oh, he is following me. Well, what do you know? So, you know, he's just trying to make my life hell. And I'm going to make sure to block him if he ever tries that again, which is sadly what you have to do when some of these people get out of control. You'd like to give them a bit of a doubt. Anyway, so yeah, th what this guy said is when I had shared the post that Chase Rhodes had posted after the tornado in Moore, Oklahoma. This guy started getting on me, and I said to him, you know, because he was mocking us about the tornado thing, and I said, you know, it isn't because he was saying, oh, God sent you the tornado too. I said, it isn't me, it's God himself. Read Isaiah 45, for example. Well, that's where it devolved into persecution, and I even had to block someone in that. And <sighs> so cyberbullying, no matter who you are, can take forms of anything from persecution to, like someone said in the article about how Amy Fiddlenick had to handle what she handled, misogynistic garbage. And Spittlenick was absolutely right for tweeting that. She said, sadly, too many women face misogynistic garbage like this, that is referring to the Carlson tweets against her, too often. And I'm one of those women. Sometimes I've gone too far and said things too and done things that I shouldn't have. However, just because I've done things and I've gone too far doesn't mean that any of the cyberbullying is excused against me. And the thing is, when I've gone too far, I've apologized or I've tried to apologize. And some of these people, though, when they cyberbully, they don't apologize. Their attitude is just as bad as Tucker Carlson's and just as bad as Buckley Carlson's. And now you're seeing that. If ordinary people can get away with cyberbullying, which many of them do for some reason, people in more prominent positions think they can get away with cyberbullying, and often they do. I haven't even seen, sadly, for example, Fox News come out and say, hey, this isn't something that our contributors need to do. 
and Tucker Carlson, because he's doing what he's doing, needs to go. And so, by the way, I do urge Fox News to investigate what's going on in terms of Tucker Carlson and Amy Spittlenick and all that. And I urge Fox News, and I urge other media who have Tucker Carlson as a contributor or analyst, I urge them to say, look, we're not going to go for the cyberbullying stuff. And it doesn't matter what side of the political or religious or what other spectrum you're on. If you cyberbully, and if you bully in any other way, you need to go.